Good morning, y'all. Let's hit the road. So let me give you an update. I'm not moving, which means there is a problem, and that's what's happening. I was driving and a lady was pointing beside me that I had low antifreeze and my car was starting to smell. So I pull over and I check and my reservoir is empty. So yeah, call Gret, told him that I wouldn't be able to come to the nine o'clock service and call my dad and he told me just to wait and let it cool down, then refill it. So yeah, this was not what I had in mind. It's an old car. I think I pushed it to its limit. So yeah, there's a little bit of ponding there. There's no water or liquids in the reservoir. I suspect a water pump might have gone, but we don't know yet. My adventures walking the target for antifreeze. I'm at a town center. How brilliant. I think I'll take a couple of these. America. So let me give you a little VIP tour of what I think has gone wrong. In January, I was coming back from Christmas break and I started had steam coming up and I was able to make it back to my apartment. And see this rod right here? Um, this part right here had rusted out and my dad had to order it from the Ford Motor Company since he couldn't find it at any junkyard or auto parts place. I suspect, and I don't know, see that right there where it goes into the rest of the coolant system. There's a little bit of ponding. I suspect something right in there may have come loose because there's a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to fill her up, start it up. If stuff starts coming out of there, I know what the problem is. I happen to be at a Firestone workshop, and if it's something very small, I might ask them to take a look at it. If it's something a little bit bigger, well, I don't want to call a tow truck, but I might have to. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. See all that? That's any freeze. Basically, I put it in, and it came right on out. I'm done. I'm toast. Guess I'll be here for a few hours then. Another update. Um, I got Firestone people gonna look at it by the end of the day. Hopefully they fix it. It's a 20 year old car, I don't know. It's like going to the doctor's office. The reason why people don't go to the doctor's office is because they're afraid the doctor's gonna find a lot more wrong with them than they wanna know what's wrong. And that's the same thing with my car. Who knows what they're gonna find? little humor to the situation. This was stuck on the side of my car a few days ago with only two left and this was sitting in the side and one of the mechanics decided to eat one. You have less than me 11 months car with only one issue. 
But now you will learn a night in the hospital. I finally met with Brett after all the car trouble. Hey guys, how's it going? Getting pizza. And uh, I'm here right outside the Firestone that Chris got pulled over at. Very sad. <laughs> so Brett left and I'm waiting on my ride home. I'm sitting to an Italian deli place. So I was walking and I came across this. A wheat penny. Problem is it's facing down. That's not good. I've had a rough month this month. Should I pick it up? It's copper. I'm never gonna ask the question what could possibly go wrong because stuff will go wrong. Oh, fine. Well, if something goes wrong, this is it. As you probably guessed, I am bored out of my mind, which means I'm making more of me talking, which is gonna be more of me editing. All right. Anyway, um, I don't know if you, or I haven't told you yet, total bill, if it were to stay here overnight and get fixed in the morning, is $500. You heard me, $500 for it to be fixed tomorrow. So, we're gonna go a new way. My dad is gonna pick me up, and then tomorrow or sometime he's gonna pick up like a dolly trailer from U-Haul and come and pick it up. I was bummed out. I didn't make it to any of Brett's stuff, but it was so nice to get to meet with him and have dinner with him. It was so awesome. Oh yeah, I got kicked. Well, I didn't get kicked out, but the place I was at earlier closed, so I just came back to my car. So it's right here. Hopefully I don't get dehydrated. Ain't America beautiful. America. So I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Nobles across the street and get out of the, the sun and into the AC. My ride should be here now, somewhere. And we are back here. I hope you had fun watching it. More fun than I did today. Um, yeah, just subscribe and do whatever shmeal people ask you to do at the end of the videos. Take care, y'all.